stake. 24 groups, Italy the reigning champions, Russia and Belarus the main challengers. On last World Championship form anyway, but 12 months can make an awful lot of difference. Bulgaria, Japan, Germany, all in the mix. As are Israel, France and Switzerland. Great competition in store. There's Italy. Gonna work fairly low down the order. And it's Russia we see first. Working with three plus two. It's three ribbons and two hoops. And up until 2008, they really were in a purple patch. They dominated the sport. Since then, they've been rebuilding. Last year, they were third in the all-around championships. But they were champions with this apparatus, three plus two. Just multiply all of the qualities of rhythmic gymnastics times five. And five of them have to work together, matching and or contrasting shapes, positions, lots of throws and exchanges in store. Accuracy in a limited space for five gymnasts is so important. Synchronization inside scale. Some very neat exchanges. And all of these gymnasts have separate roles to perform, and the idea is to gel together into a complete performance. Lovely roll into a safe catch. Every one of the five gymnasts must make contact with the apparatus. Crucial. Oh, good exchange. Very, very accurate. The other formations change. New patterns emerging. Big throw. Safe catch and what an opening. This is from Russia. To two and a half minutes and that's hard work for the five of them unison in the pivot beautifully timed wow remember these are the challenges and what a challenge they're putting down Very full house here, seven and a half thousand capacity, and they're being treated to some super work. Well, Russia have started incredibly well. The exchanges, the patterns, all accurate. Using the gymnast as part of the apparatus. 27.6, a huge score to kick off with. Of course, two apparatus have to be presented, and then the total is combined to find our winner. This is Belarus. They opened with five balls. They were second last year, behind Italy and ahead of Russia in the all-round competition. But this wasn't their strongest apparatus. In the final for five balls, they slipped to fifth. So Belarus chasing 27.6 the score for Russia and oh, look at that the tableau breaks and the first of the many patterns you'll see it's going to be at least six different formations synchronization that you're seeing here that has to figure 
just a tiny bit out there. And it does bear repeating that five gymnasts working in this confined space, all of them with their own job to do, they can't collide, the apparatus mustn't collide. Nice, accurate exchange. Cossack in unison, look at that. Even down to the height of the leaps and jumps they've got to match. Can you see one pattern? Soon it'll dissolve and change into another. There you go. And sync. Now that's great synchronization from Belarus. Use of the gymnast, look at that. Varying trajectories of the ball, one low, one high, a little bit overreach there. That's a better exchange. Oh, bouncing. Well, exciting apparatus, five ball, because so easy to lose control. Walk over to catch, and they go their separate ways to make a new pattern. Nice illusion. And Cannon. Again, a nice little touch from the gymnast. Well, Belarus, that's a strong challenge. A couple of missed timings. The coaching team are quite happy. 27.6 is the target. And look at that star. Very unusual. Well, I said when they started, this was their one of their weaker apparatus, but they've certainly proved me wrong there. Some lovely stuff to watch here. So accurate with trapping. Look at this, use of the gymnast. Trying to be original. Oh, they're just off the pace, 27.525. Second at the moment, Belarus with one apparatus. So Russia presenting their second of two routines. They're in the lead by 0.075 over Belarus. Another good score would give them the lead. But remember, there's Bulgaria, Italy still to come. Italy, the world champions, of course. So they need a hefty total here. Focus. some footwork, sliding across the top of the ball. That's in cannon, not always synchronised, different formations formed in different ways. Still, they have to work together. to show us up to 14 difficulties and six of those must be exchanges in the apparatus. Oh, that's nice. And six must be exchanges in the apparatus. A lofty exchange and a safe trap and a new pattern emerges.
Nice five, and that breaks into yet another formation. This time in Indian file. Matching the height of the throws, very important for the timing, of course. All the gymnasts using and helping each other. Oh, and there's an error. That could be costly. But she's back into the swing of things now. Touches, bouncing off bodies and the floor. Then you see an example on ball making the journey between the two by the inbounds, the other's being thrown. Well, they've got back into the rhythm now. Good synchronization in the pivots. There's the dice five formation again. Well, one or two shaky movements and uh, the ball decided to leave a grasp at one stage and that would be expensive. But their 27.6 to open was very strong. It's not going to be that high this time. And uh, it's mesmerizing the way they use the area, travel across it in different ways, make different patterns and all the time Focusing with the apparatus. Fascinating. Used to the gymnast. Now, how costly was that error? 27.25, a little bit down on the 3 plus 2. 54.85, the lead.